Hello traders, hope you're doing well. Welcome to the fourth part of a free complete option trading course series. If you have not watched the previous part, I highly recommend you watch that before you watch this video. I will provide a direct link to the course playlist in the description box below. Now without further delay, let us get into today's topic. Traders, now in this chapter, we are going to understand the difference between an option buyer and an option seller. Understanding this is very important if you want to trade in options. Without having proper knowledge about this, it's going to be very difficult. Now on the left side, we have the option buyer. On the right side, we have the option seller. Let's try to understand the difference between the two. Now let's say this is a chart of Nifty and Nifty is currently trading at 16,800 level. Now, if an option buyer feels the 16,800 is a very strong support level, that means from 16,800, he feels the market will go up. So he is bullish about the market. When an option buyer is bullish about the market, he needs to buy a call option. Now, if an option buyer feels that Nifty will not sustain this level, he feels Nifty will go down. That means he is bearish about nifty so at that time if the market he feels it is going down then he needs to buy a put option okay see here the option buyer has two choices he can buy a call option if he feels the market will go up he needs to buy a put option if he feels the market will go down for an option seller it is complete opposite let's take the same nifty example Let's say Nifty is trading at 16,800 level. Now, if an option seller thinks the 16,800 level is a very strong resistance level, that means the market will not break 16,800 level by the time of expiry. So he feels it is going to trade within a range and then it might go down. At that time, an option seller should sell a call option. Now, if the option seller is feeling 16,800 can act as a support. That means he thinks the market can go up from this level. At that time, an option seller will sell a put option. Okay. Now how to take this trade, all those things I will be explaining in this free course. Nothing to worry about that. But before discussing that, it is very important what kind of an entry an option buyer will take when he is bullish or bearish and what kind of entry an option seller is supposed to take if his view is bullish or bearish. That you need to understand clearly. As of now, we have understood what kind of entry an option buyer has to take and what kind of entry an option seller has to take. Now many of you who is watching this video, you might find it difficult in deciding which is better, option buying or option selling. Right? So what we will do is, we will look into the additional advantages and disadvantage of both. What are the advantages of option buyer and what are the advantages of becoming an option seller? Now the first advantage of being an option buyer. For an option buyer, the capital requirement is less. For an option seller, the capital requirement is more. Now let's try to understand this with an example. Traders, what you're seeing right now is Nifty 50 chart on zero the. If you see here, Nifty is currently trading at 17,080. Now, if I want to trade in Nifty exactly at 17,080 or 70,085, I cannot trade in Nifty. So, I need to choose a strike price with which I can trade. Now, let's not go in detail about what is strike price and how to decide which strike price is better because that I'll be discussing as we move forward. But as of now, just understand Nifty is trading currently at 17,085. We cannot trade exactly at this level. So we need to choose a strike price to trade in Nifty options. Now here, if you see, I have chosen 17,050 strike price. These both are April expiry and these both are May expiry. Okay. I'm shooting this video on 26th of April. So in next two days, we will have the monthly expiry that is on Thursday. Now, if an option buyer thinks Nifty will cross this level and it will go up, that means he is bullish about the market. If an option buyer is bullish about the market, what he needs to do? He will buy a call option. So 
this nifty april 17050 call option if i click on buy minimum quantity is 50 if i want to buy this option the margin required is just 6900 now a lot of beginners or retail traders they can arrange so much money right they will have this much amount in their demat account now sometimes depending on the strike price that we choose or depending on which expiry we choose the margin amount might differ the 6000 can be around 10000 12000 15000 also most of the beginners or retail traders for sure they will have a capital investment of 15 to 20000 rupees so they prefer trading in option buying because the margin required is less close to 15 to 20000 rupees in this case only 7000 rupees now if an option buyer is bearish about the market he feels nifty will go below this level by the time of expiry he will buy a put option so if he buys a put option also it's going to cost him even less just 4000 rupees again i will repeat depending on the strike price and the expiry date the margin amount will change okay but instead of being an option buyer if i am an option seller if i want to sell a call option of nifty i think the market will go down if i want to sell one lot of nifty call option it is going to cost me 1 lakh 10000 rupees for option buying just 6 to 10000 rupees for an option seller it is more than 1 lakh rupees even for option seller depending on the strike price the margin amount will change but approximately most of the time it will be more than 1 lakh rupees itself now if an option seller wants to sell a put option that means he is bullish about the market he thinks nifty will go up even for that he will need 1 lakh rupees all right so from this only you need to understand for an option buyer the capital requirement is less with just 10 20 000 he can be an option buyer but for an option seller the capital requirement is more that is more than 1 lakh rupees sometimes it will be more than 2 lakh rupees also now let us see the second difference for an option buyer risk is limited for an option seller risk can be unlimited buyer and you are bullish about the market so you need to buy a call option so if i want to buy a call option this particular strike price call option is trading at 8000 rupees okay now if the market without going up by the time of expiry without going up if the market comes down right how much ever down it comes the maximum loss you will have is this amount this is the premium amount which you paid or the token amount which you paid to enter the trade right by the time of expiry if the market goes against you then the maximum loss you will have is 8000 rupees traders it is advised that you close your position before the expiry date most of the brokers will do it on your behalf but it is better that we close our position if the market goes against us now this call option you are buying at 162 rupees you are buying 50 quantity now on the date of expiry as the time goes this premium value will become zero if it becomes zero you will lose the entire amount that you paid as a token advance so for an option buyer this amount is the maximum risk so risk is limited but let's say i am an option seller i sold 17050 call option thinking that the market will go down now instead of going down or trading within a range let's say nifty went really high due to volatility i can lose this entire 1 lakh 10000 rupees i can lose even 2 lakh rupees of course here also theoretically speaking for option seller risk will be unlimited but your broker will send you notification to close your positions but risk for option seller is huge compared to option buyer because risk can be unlimited so this is the second difference now let's look at the third difference for an option buyer profit can be unlimited but for an option seller profit is limited now imagine that i am an option buyer and i feel from this level nifty will go up so i will buy a call option right now by the time of expiry how much ever high the nifty goes how much ever high it goes i'll keep making profit so there is no limit in profit for option buyer the profit can be 10000 20000 30000 of course it also depends on the lot size but there is a 
possibility now let me switch nifty time frame to let's say 3 minutes now if i go back and check here just last week nifty significantly fell during the market close hours it is close to 350 points now what is one lot size of nifty it is 50 so 50 into 350 points you would have made around 17500 for many of them it would have been more than 100% return on their investment so for an option buyer if the market significantly goes according to their prediction then profit can be huge but for an option seller the profit is limited now for example let's say i am bearish about the market and i sold 17050 call option now what will be the maximum profit i would make on the date of expiry this option is currently trading at 156 rupees approximate so 156 into nifty lot size 50 so 7800 rupees so the 7800 rupees will be the maximum profit if i hold the position until the expiry date i cannot make more than that but you saw an option buyer profit can be huge if the market goes according to his view so this is the third difference traders till now we have discussed three differences between an option buyer and option seller now looking at all these three differences it looks like being an option buyer is better than option seller because capital requirement is less risk is limited profit is unlimited right but we need to understand that being an option seller also has its own advantages let's look into that now an option buyer his market view has to always be right to make profit but for an option seller market view need not be right all the time to make profit now the next difference in option trading time is enemy for option buyer and time is friend of option seller now let us understand both of these differences with an example traders now let's say i am an option buyer and you are an option seller and nifty is currently trading at this level 16800 level my view about nifty is bullish and even your view about nifty is bullish okay both of us feel that by the time of expiry nifty will close above 16800 maybe it can close at 16900 17000 17500 whatever level it can be but we both strongly feel nifty by the time of expiry will go above 16800 and close now since i am an option buyer and i am bullish about nifty i will have to buy a call option and since you are an option seller and even your view is bullish about nifty you need to sell a put option both of our view is bullish about nifty now let's say my view about nifty was correct the market made a quick momentum like this as soon as i entered the trade at this first situation i will be making very good profit now let us see situation number 2 instead of market making a quick momentum like this let's say the market took time and it made a momentum like this now in this situation i will be making less profit compared to scenario number 1 now third situation let's say the market was trading within a range like this but it closed above 16800 level in this situation even though the market closed above this level i will be in loss because the market stayed within a range for a longer duration traders please understand time is an enemy of option buyer if a stock or nifty or bank nifty stays within a range for a longer duration its premium value will keep reducing just imagine an option buyer's premium amount as an ice cream if you want to enjoy the ice cream as soon as you take it out from the freezer you need to quickly eat it at that time this kind of benefit you will get if you take out the ice cream from the fridge and you're just holding it you're not eating it as time goes as the ice cream will start melting right same way an option buyer's premium will keep reducing this is because time is an enemy for option buyer now the fourth situation let's say my view is wrong and nifty significantly fell down from this level at this situation i will be in loss so an option buyer can make profit when his view is correct and the market moves towards the upside quickly 
If it takes time, my profit will keep reducing. If it takes more time, I will be in loss. If my view is wrong, of course, I will be in big loss. Of course, for an option buyer, the loss is limited. He entered the trade with 10,000 rupees premium. He will lose that entire 10,000 rupees if his view is wrong and he holds the position till the expiry. But for an option seller, the situation is different. Let's say your view is correct. You sold a put option. You were bullish. The market made a momentum like this. You will make the entire profit. For an option seller, the profit is fixed. Let's say you sold at 130 rupees premium. So you will get your entire 130 rupees if the market goes according to your plan. Now instead of quick momentum, if Nifty makes a momentum like this, still here also you will make that entire 130 rupees. Your view is correct. The stock stayed above 16,800. You will be in profit. Now situation number three, if the market makes a consolidation like this, it stays in a range for a longer duration. Still, you will make your entire 130 rupees. The longer the stock stays within a range for a longer time, it is good for option seller because time is a friend of option seller. Now situation number four, you as an option seller, you thought Nifty will stay above 16,800 level, right? Let's say Nifty went down around 100 points down and Nifty closed at 16,700 level. Even at this situation, you as an option seller, you will be in profit. Let me tell you how. Your view was Nifty will stay above this level, but the market went down by 100 points. So you need to minus the 16,700 from this 16,800. So what is the difference? It is 100 points. Now this put option, I told you sold it at 130 rupees. So from this 130 rupees, if you minus this 100 points, what is the balance? The balance is 30 rupees or 30 points. Now this 30 points will be your profit even if the market went 100 points below than the strike price which you chose. So if the market goes against you also, in the situation option seller is making 30 points profit. If you multiply this 30 points into nifty lot size, that is 50, you will end up with 1500 rupees profit. Now the only situation where an option seller will be in loss is when the market goes completely against him. In this situation, there will be heavy loss for option seller because for him risk is unlimited. This is why a lot of option seller buy options for hedging. If you compare option buyer with option seller, the probability of option seller making profit is significantly higher. This is why big, big financial institutions, high net worth individual, they prefer option selling over option buying because probability of making profit is high. All right. So this is a very important difference between option buyer and option seller, which you need to understand. Traders, I think now we have covered all the important difference between an option buyer and option seller. Now it is you who has to decide what suits you better option buying or option selling. I personally, I do both. When I see a very good momentum in the market and I want to grab that opportunity, I do option buying. But there are certain situations where I cannot look into the market all the time because I'll be occupied with other businesses. At that time, I use any one of my five option selling strategies which I personally have created. Depending on each market condition, I decide which option selling strategy I have to use. Okay. I hope this video has clarified all the doubts that you have in regards with option buyer and seller. It takes a lot of time for me to create such videos for you. If you are enjoying our content, please like and subscribe to this channel. I will see you in the next lecture.